CNN is receiving backlash for a segment on CNN Tonight with Don Lemon in which commentators referred to Kanye West as the token Negro of the Trump administration. Ahead of the rapper's visit to the White House Thursday, host Don Lemon asked a panel on his show Tuesday night if President Trump is using Kanye as a prop to win over black voters before the midterms. Political commentator Bakari Sellers, who is black, responded, anti-intellectualism simply isn't cool. Kanye West is what happens when Negroes don't read, he said referencing a Chris Rock stand-up routine from the 1990s. Another commentator Teresette Mayer, who is also black, said, now all of the sudden, because he's put on a MAGA hat and he's an attention WE like the president, he's all of a sudden the model spokesperson. He's the token Negro of the Trump administration. Black folks are about to trade Kanye West in the racial draft, okay. They've had it with him, Set Mayer added. No one should be taking Kanye West seriously. The third commentator Scott Jennings a white man appeared stunned as the other panelists and host laughed while discussing the rapper who has revealed his battle with mental illness. The segment prompted other journalists and Donald Trump Jr. to hit out at the network for airing what they say are racist remarks and insensitive to mental health sufferers. Donald Trump Jr. took to Twitter Wednesday to condemn the rapper's roasting. Kanye dares to think for himself, so at CNN commentators mock him, saying Kanye, a wildly successful businessman, is what happens when Negroes don't read. At some point you have to ask, why is free thought an expression so dangerous and scary to liberals, he wrote. Journalist Glenn Greenwald pointed out the comment's effect on a person's mental health, calling it weaponizing. Exploiting and mocking the fact that someone has previously sought medical treatment for mental health issues in order to disqualify them from participating in public debates and being taken seriously is reprehensible, and CNN should be ashamed of itself for airing that, he wrote on Twitter. Greenwald continued, what makes CNN's weaponizing of mental health treatment against Kanye West extra repulsive, a mere four months ago, the suicide of their own colleague, Anthony Bourdain, followed by Kate Spades, sparked a national discussion about the dangers of this stigma. Fox News contributor Daroy Murdoch called the comments reprehensible and racist typical of the Trump-hating left. Black Americans who think for ourselves are mocked and degraded with words we last saw under Jim Crow, Murdoch said. CNN has not responded to DailyMail.com's request for comment. However, Set Mayer doubled down on her comments on Twitter Thursday after she herself revealed the harassment she's received online. I stand by what I said 100%, she wrote in part of a tweet that is uninformed and is being used willfully. Sellers also backed up his claims from the show in response to the backlash. I didn't call him dumb, Steve, he said responding to another CNN commentator Steve Cortez. I was am extremely clear. He doesn't read. He chooses not to. He's willfully ignorant. This is when I step into my blackness. Dot despite the criticism, Kenny West made an appearance in the Oval Office in front of a slew of cameras where he went on a 10-minute rant in front of the president. Dot during the meeting, the rapper dropped the F-bomb, talked about his bipolar disorder diagnosis, pounded on the Resolute desk, and gave the president a hug.